video, I'm going to show you how to easily create an Outlier AI account. Now, Outlier AI is an application used to actually analyze data without giving you the headache to actually look at it. And it does use your background personal information, so it does take a minute to set up an account. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to create an account. It does take a good amount of time, but it is really easy once you know how to do it. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is you simply just want to go to outlier.ai, that website. And once you type that in, it'll be brought onto the website like so. And to actually create an account, you just want to accept cookies and click on the login option on the screen like so. Even if you don't have an account, you actually just want to create one using Google or you can use this other option using opportunities. I just recommend using Google. It's the most straightforward, simplest process. And once you've done that, you just select the Google account that you actually want to associate with your outlier account. Click on continue. From here, you simply just want to enter in your first name, last name, date of birth, address, phone number, city zip code, and so on. Agree to the terms of service and simply click on agree to sending an SMS and click on continue. And it'll actually send you a verification code, which you need to enter in here. Now, the entire setup process does take a good amount of time to actually set up because they actually do want to make sure that you are 18 years old otherwise you cannot use this application and just get to know your background a little bit better so they can really identify what you actually need to analyze data and use this application for on your end of the spectrum but once you enter in your code again you just have to enter in a verification id so start identity verification and it will actually send you a code to your phone where you can actually submit these documents now it can be a driver's license state id passport passport card and so on i'm just going to choose driver license because that's the easiest one for me me. and you simply want to click on send sms here enter in your phone number on your phone you just want to enter in your driver's license you have to do this on your phone you can't do this on your actual computer on your phone you just want to enter in your driver's license you have to do this on your phone you can't do this on your actual computer you know <laughs> And as you can see, now we have verified our identity. So we just want to click on done, click on continue once again, and you actually want to upload a resume so that Outlier AI can actually match some information to identify which projects it actually needs to help you on. So you just want to click on upload a resume. And if your resume is currently not a PDF file, which it needs to be, I just recommend typing into the search bar JPEG to PDF or SEV to PDF, whatever file yours is, that to PDF file. And then you can actually just simply get that application or just simply putting your file, just copying your resume, putting that text in Google Docs and then just downloading it as a PDF. Then from here, you simply just want to export it and actually upload your resume onto this website like so. And once you've done that, we just click on continue option and you can add any languages that you speak or the ones in your native country. I'm just going to choose English for me. You can also do English and Spanish or whatever languages you need. And now we're almost done creating our account. You just want to choose a few things that you do have expertise in, experience in. So if you do have mathematics, data science, or some sort of degree in poetry, just anything like that, any skill sets in any of these things, you just want to scroll through these and select the ones that you actually have expertise, some experience in. And there's even an other option at the bottom of the screen. Click on continue or you can skip that step entirely, just clicking on the very bottom skip option. And and as you can see, now that we've done that, we can simply join our community and we have just done the first step of our process, creating our account.